first thing I want you to do is say your name and how long you've been a member of Bethlehem. Okay. okay. Go ahead. My name is Doris A. Stokes. I've been a member of Bethlehem for over 73 years. Yeah, my name is Algie Jones, Sr. I've been a member of Bethlehem for about uh, 54, 55 years. My name is Gloria Pleasance. I've been a member of Bethlehem for 55 years. My name is Bruce Lee, and I've been a member here in years. I can't say that. I just moved here in 1991. I'm Laura Ripping. I've been a member of Bethlehem Baptist Church since 1975. Hello, my name is Dolores Porter. I have been at Bethlehem over 65 years. My mother introduced me, Mrs. Alice Hall. I'm Cornell Andrews. I've been a member of Bethlehem Baptist since 1975, like I said, about 38 years. My name is Gloria Children. I've been here for 18 years. I'm Shade Smith, and I've been a member of Bethlehem for 21 years. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Valerie Harris. I've been a member of Bethlehem Baptist Church for 53 years. Yes. <laughs> My name is Julia Harris Hockaday. I've been to Bethlehem for 52 years. I am E.J. Barfield. And I have been a member of the Bethlehem Baptist Church for over 55 years. I joined the Pope Sunday in June 1964. Phyllis Doty, I've been a member for 48 years, but I've been in this church all of my life is 50 plus years. My name is David Buford Gillis, and I joined my wife in Bethlehem in 1979. My name is Justine Lee. I have been a member of Bethlehem Baptist Church since I was 12 years old. That's too many years to count. It's greater than 50. My name is Winfred Hayes. I've been a member of Bethlehem Baptist Church for 29 years. Hello, Bethlehem. My name is Jeanette Jackson, and I've been in Bethlehem for the 50 plus years I've been born. I've been here all my life. It all began in 1893 in a moderate populated Negro community with a group of Christian believers who came together to form Bethlehem Baptist Church. Reverend Jackson was the founder and first pastor. The membership was not large in numbers, but the church was a haven for many families in the Sweet Home Alley community. The first edifice of record was between 17th and 18th streets near Broad and Marshall streets. The conditions were modest and the furnishings simple, yet eager church chorus filled the wooden pews for the weekly Sunday service. During the year of 1907, under the leadership of Reverend Jackson, trustees Hilton Brown and Samuel Lewis secured property located at 1000 Buckhanna Street for $500. In 1908, this property became the second edifice of Bethlehem. From the beginning, Bethlehem had a solid foundation, a commitment to know and live the Word of God, and a dedication to the community. Reverend Griffin, 1908 to 1909. Not much is known about Reverend Griffin. His first name is not even remembered. What's important is that he was a man of God and was chosen to lead the congregation when Reverend Jackson was called from labor to rest in 1908. Bethlehem was struck with another devastating blow with the untimely death of Reverend Griffin. However, guided by the Holy Spirit and the strong leadership of Deacon John Prilgrim. The congregation continued to grow 
and prosper. Reverend Henry Randolph, 1914 to 1948. Reverend Henry Randolph was selected as the third pastor of Bethlehem in 1914. From the very beginning, Reverend Randolph demonstrated his pastoral leadership. Many church auxiliaries were birthed. The Sunday School Department was developed with Reverend George Davis serving as the first superintendent of record. Improvements were made to the interior and exterior of the church building. In 1930, a faithful member, John L. Walker, rescued Bethlehem from financial difficulties. This godly deed will always remain in the hearts of our congregation. In 1948, Reverend Blanche Brown was elected as the assistant pastor of Bethlehem. It was in that year. In 1948, Reverend Randolph was called home to be with the Lord. My name is Geraldine Harris, and I have been a member of Bethlehem Baptist Church for over 70 years. I was baptized by the late Reverend Randolph. During this time, I sung the Randolph Memorial Choir. There was organized in my mother's home, the late Cyril Harris. This has been our family church for over 70 years. During one time, during this time, I served as a scout leader with Shirley Burgess. We have lost a lot of family members through the years but God's grace and mercy, we are still here. Reverend Branch Brown, 1950 to 1958. In 1950, Reverend Blanche Brown was selected as Bethlehem's fourth pastor. Reverend Brown continued to expand on the work a Reverend Randolph. Looking towards the future, Reverend Brown started the first building fund program with James Stevens Jr. serving as chairperson and Francis Johnson and Louise Johnson as secretaries. To commemorate our deceased pastor, Reverend Henry Randolph, a choir was named in his honor. The Randolph Memorial Choir would be heard on the fourth Sundays for several decades. Other ministries were initiated under his tenure. After eight years of service, Reverend Brown resigned as pastor. God's church blessings and family love. God's family is one of life's greatest blessings, a connection that ties us together in prayer, history, respect, pride, love, and laughter. Bethlehem. Bethlehem Baptist is truly one of the most outstanding churches that you find anywhere you go. It's a church that's full of love and a, ch a church of being available to help those who need help and to do the kinds of things that glorify God. Born on Buckhannon Street, attending Bethlehem Baptist Church at a very young age. Back in the day, 
it was only one room. We had to go outside for the bathroom. There were no no's. We had to go to church. Sunday school, yes, and had to stay for church. You better be there. We had a group of people who cared for each other, people who loved each other, who manifested that love by the kinds of lives that they were living and the kinds of things they were helping us learn and the kinds of things that we were beginning to do, not just listen, but to do those kinds of things. Look where God has brought us from, Buckhannon Street to Fairman Avenue, a small church we love to a better church we love even more. Love lifted us. When nothing else could help, God's love lifted us. Buckhannon is a little place down there behind where our church used to be. Okay. And it was a, a, a community. Yes, indeed. But we miss Buckhanna. All the people down there lived like we lived in a village. Mm. Okay. And everybody looked out for everybody's child. And everybody looked out for everybody's family. Mm. So that's what made it special. Reverend John Bishop Gordon Sr., 1959 to 1989. On January 25th, 1959, Reverend Dr. John Bishop Gordon Sr. became the fifth pastor of Bethlehem Baptist Church. Reverend Gordon, a visionary, aspired to move Bethlehem forward. In just two years, Bethlehem purchased our present site, the former Fairmount Avenue Methodist Church at 1920 Fairmount Avenue. There is no documentation on the cost of this property. However, in October 1969, the mortgage was burned. Under Reverend Gordon's leadership, our congregation grew, as well as an active and vibrant Sunday school. Many formal programs were continued, and new programs were established to encourage children and youth participation. Gordon participated in a host of community programs to benefit the Church Hill residents. Reverend Gordon's love for his congregation and community led to the formation of the very successful Bethlehem Baptist Church Day Nursery in 1962. In January 1989, Reverend Gordon retired as the pastor of Bethlehem Baptist Church. Sadly, on June 11, 2001, the best folk in the world mourned the loss of their beloved leader.
Kenneth Archie Merritt Sr. Uh, I've been um, living in Richmond 66 years. But like Dr. Uh, Gordon used to say, Bethlehem got the best people in the whole world. And I just want to say I'm glad to be a part of this church because this church has brought me a long, long way. sharing this information for Antoinette Allen Edwards, who has been a member of Bethlehem Baptist Church for 73 years. She shares with us with love, she says, congratulations church family. We thank God for these 125 years of serving, loving, and sharing our all for the Lord. Dr. Davis's vision is moving our church on. I promise you this, the move from Buckhannon Street to Fairmount Avenue was paramount, continued through faith, work, and love. Bethlehem is building God's kingdom. The vision of Dr. Davis leading in rebuilding, extension, play areas, and parking, just to name a few keeping faith, being led by God, and great leadership. This is where I feel. Reverend Dr. Big Dell Davis, Sr., 1989, and the present pastor of Bethlehem Baptist Church. Reverend Dr. Vic Dale Davis Sr. was installed as the sixth pastor of Bethlehem in June 1989. This young preacher brought a new spirit and a different approach to ministry to individuals and their families in the 20th century. Pastor Davis' priority and personal passion was preaching and teaching God's word to God's people. Pastor Davis sought to lead our church and rekindle the fire for missions and ministry that is so much a part of our history and heritage. Our mission program expanded locally as well as abroad. Several new ministries were birthed from the very beginning, 8 a.m. worship service, Wednesday night Bible study, children's church ministry, just to name a few. Proverbs 29:18 says, where there is no vision, the people will perish. Together we build and find us faithful. We're birthed from this scripture. This is where I feel. I didn't grow up in Bethlehem, but I feel like I did because I uh, moved here from South Carolina. And of course, I came here about a year or two before I made the decision to really become a permanent member of Bethlehem. It was something about the music, something about the word that I really enjoyed. So eventually, Bethlehem put a calling upon my life. Uh, Dr. Davis married my daughter and my son, and he's even blessed some of my grandchildren. So I'm here, it seems like, for the rest of my life. <laughs> so I just want to wish this church a happy 125 years. Well, actually, it's how I got here, because my intentions was not to become a member of Bethlehem. My son, Reverend Darius Webster, was doing his internship here, and I had custody of some younger children. 
So he came home one Sunday, he said, Ma, you gotta go to church with me, children running the muck at church. And it's embarrassing, so I started to come. To help keep the kids in, in line, and I continued to come. I enjoyed the first service, I came back. It's like good food. You know, I got a first bite, and then I wanted another bite. And I have really enjoyed my walk here. I enjoy my family here. I just look forward to coming here for growth. It's a blessing to be in the service learning how to praise the Lord and understanding what it's all about. Coming to church is one thing, but learning about Christ is another thing. So God is good. Uh, I played with a number of musicians, uh, minister of music here. I can't call all of them, but one of them is Willie Barnett, uh, Mr. Harold Lilly, uh, our, our minister of music now, Mr. Witherspoon. Uh, there's so many good minister of music we had here. And I'm so thankful and glad that I am a member and a part of this, this great church. Uh, I have enjoyed the journey here at Bethlehem. It has certainly been a spiritual journey and a growth journey for me. The, a lot of people ask me, well, how did you get to Bethlehem if you didn't come from Buckhannon Street and you didn't go to Armstrong? Yeah. Well, I came in under Dick and Steve and Reverend Gordon because they were like, looking around for people to be diggers and diggers. So when my husband and I came, I said no the first time, but then the next time, uh, after some things had happened in our family, and we came back and decided we were going to join this church. So just to say I just love Bethlehem. I'm not, I'm not, even though I go to other church and make visit and everything, but I love to be back here. <laughs> yeah, this is home, way, I guess you say home away from home. <laughs> Um, this church has been a part of our lives ever since we were children. And Sundays we were here, we were here for Bible study, we were here for youth programs. Um, it, it, in a sense, it's been like a second home for me. Um, the folks that are here, they're like a second family for me. And he is wonderful. And I never will go back from Bethlehem Church because I love this church. I praise this church, and I have family in this church. So for that, I thank God. That's all. I can hardly believe it. Even though I remember it as if it were yesterday, it has been over 20 years since I was a member of Bethlehem, first as a student intern, and then as a minister of Christian education. So many faces and so many names come to mind when I remember my time in Bethlehem. Some of them still with us, and some of them gone on to glory. I will forever be grateful to Pastor Davis, the officers and the members of Bethlehem. Hey Bethlehem, this is Pastor Selwyn Kebacus, Senior Pastor of the Salem Baptist Church of Omaha, Nebraska. I thank you for the opportunity and privilege to be a part of this anniversary celebration. It was a wonderful time when I was able to intern uh, at Bethlehem under the leadership of Dr. Victor Davis. It was a blessing indeed. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you all in retrospect for allowing me to practice preaching on you as a congregation uh, and allow me to do ministry while I was in seminary. I'm so grateful for your ministry and for the ministry of Dr. Davis, who's gone on to be with the Lord, but we are grateful for all that the Lord has continued to do through the Bethlehem Church. We know that the Lord is going to continue to bless you, continue to build you, continue to enlarge your territory uh, because there's something special about the Bethlehem Baptist Church there in Richmond, Virginia. So again, thank you for this privilege to just say a few words and to say happy anniversary to you and to many, many more. God bless you and God keep you is my prayer.